Hi, I'm Judith Monroe and this is my studio. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make something we call a lumen print. First of all, here are all of the things that I'm going to need to make a lumen print today. The first thing I have is my darkroom paper. This is made by Ilford. It's a pearl surface and um, little five by seven prints. I actually went into a very dark room uh, with no windows, closed the door, pulled out a piece of the paper and um, put it in this. We can see here's my dark room paper right there. Um, it's dim enough in here, um, no direct sunlight that I can let it sit out, but I am in the habit of protecting it. So I have my paper, my darkroom paper. I have a piece of cardboard that I'm gonna put my paper on, a piece of glass. You can take apart a frame if you want um, or purchase an inexpensive one and steal the glass out of it is probably the easiest way to get a piece of glass. Um, items, um, I have some little seeds that I'm going to be using to make my um, image today and some binder clips to hold everything together. It's a really simple process. I'm going to take this paper, um, emulsion side up, which actually has a slight color to it. I can feel it, um, the difference as well and I'm going to set that on my cardboard and then I'm going to set my seeds on the cardboard or on the paper on top of the cardboard and I'm just gonna create a little image to figure out maybe not so many there I want it to look random and that's hard when you're not actually tossing something randomly all right so that will have to be random enough so then I'm just putting my glass on top of the seeds, on top of the paper, just to hold everything in place so that um, it won't move around. And I'm gonna just clamp the whole thing together. I like having uh, glass and cardboard that is larger than my paper so that it gives me plenty of space to put my clips on. And one last stubborn clip. There we are. And now it's ready to take outside and put in the sun. So here's my whole contraption clamped together. I just set it in the sun, in the bright sunlight. I'm going to set a timer for about an hour and then I'll come back and check on it. I can see that um, already that paper is starting to get a little kind of gray blue where inside it looks kind of creamy. And in another hour, it's gonna look different again. And now it's been an hour and it looks more gray than it did before. I'm gonna pick it up and take it inside. Here we are inside now, ready to take it apart. going 
to let that fall off. And not a terribly dramatic image. Uh, we do have, um, I'm kind of surprised, this is how lumen prints work sometimes, that uh, more light went through all of this um, than I would have expected. But that's the nature of these things, a little bit of a surprise sometimes. So, because that first one this one came out so dark. I'm going to try this one more time. Um, I'm going to use some different materials um, and I'm going to shorten my exposure time because light makes things dark and I would like the things that are lighter here to come out lighter. So I'm going to experiment and see if um, making my print for a shorter amount of time will work better and I have another different kind of material here this is a piece of vine that I cut from my garden and just trying to get this arranged in a way that I find appealing. That's pretty good. I want to pull this little leaf over just a bit. I think I like that a little bit better. Sort of. Mm -hmm. Alright. Sometimes getting plants and glass to cooperate is a little tricky. Alright, this will be another experiment. clamped together. The challenging clamp. There we go. That one is just extra stiff. Alright, so I'm just going to go put this in the sunshine for half an hour. And uh, as far as you know, I will just be right back. All right, so after only half an hour in the sun, I'm going to see what this looks like. I also uh, did a little quick research on the paper that I have because it is a little bit different. It's um, a new... Uh, technology, a new, uh, slightly changed version of the same paper that we've always used. And um, it is what we would call a stop, one stop faster, which means it needs, um, ooh, that's interesting. <laughs> so I think there's two things going on here. First of all, um, my different material, my different plant material created different colors. Um, so I, I changed two things, which technically if I'm trying to test something, um, changing two things at once isn't going to tell me what exactly happened. Um, but I think there are a couple of things that did happen here. Um, one was um, I have new paper that doesn't need as much light and um, the other one is I had a different kind of um, object, even different kinds of plant material 
that I laid on top, which created different effects. So all kinds of fun happening. Nice. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to make a lumen print, even that we all make mistakes now and again, and a little bit of trial and error is okay. See you next time.